Hello, my wonderful students. Miss Brown here, and today I am going to show you how to create awesome art prints using everyday materials you have lying around at home. Have fun, be creative, and make awesome art. Today, I am going to show you how to do something called printmaking. Printmaking is ultimately creating an image on one source material and taking that image and replicating it onto paper. We are going to do two different printmaking techniques today. The first one involves aluminum foil and the second one involves a plastic sandwich bag. I'm gonna show you this method first with the aluminum foil because you can do a lot of larger images this way. First, you'll need a piece of aluminum foil and a piece of paper. You're going to use a permanent marker, I just have a very large Sharpie, to go around the edge of your paper to create the little boundary that your drawing will fit in. Now, you don't have to do this. I like to do this. I've got lots of extra paper to spare which is why I'm showing you how to create your own register. Now I'm going to lift up this paper. This paper is kind of a fun scratch paper now. Um, you could print on it if you really like. I kind of like this black, so I might do that later. But I've now created a rectangle where my drawing will fit in. This is permanent marker, so it will stay on my paper. It won't leave a mark. Um, if you need help, you can ask a parent always, or a friend, or anyone at home possibly, to help you use a permanent marker. But otherwise, you're only using it just this once to create this register. You are then going to take out your handy dandy markers and create an art piece on this aluminum foil with markers. If you are struggling to come up with an idea, I always start with making shapes. Now I'm going to use, I think, a lot of my primary colors for this drawing, which are red, yellow, and blue. Now I am going quickly, you can take your time with this, but this method doesn't get a whole lot of detail, but it is possible to get more with another way that I'll show you in a bit. Now here's the fun part. I have my image, it's complete. I can now take a water bottle, which is regular water, and I'm going to double check this mist. Awesome. Mist lightly that aluminum foil. Now you can see it's fairly saturated, and you can actually see some of the colors are starting to spread. This spot over here, though, doesn't have as much water. You want to get this pretty wet, but not soaking wet. And then going to take a new piece of paper. And because we made these black lines around the edge, we know where our paper should line up exact. We're going to take that and lay it down. Now, I like to give it what I like to think is a nice little back massage. So all my paper it's perfectly where my colors are and you can see this is just thin office paper it works just as well to do this if you want you can have a thicker paper if you've got extra paper at home but otherwise this will work just perfectly and voila there we have an awesome art piece and I like this because you can really see that texture that you create sort of like a tie-dye print. I'm gonna show you, if you don't have a squirt bottle at home, another way to do this. Using a simple kitchen sponge. 
Now I'm gonna lay down some more colors. I can clean this off with a paper towel, but I'm gonna just do some more colors up top. I'm okay right now. So, instead, if you don't have a squirt bottle, you can take a wet sponge and a piece of paper. I'm going to move this aside for a second. I'm going to take my sponge and I'm just going to wet my paper. Now this might dry pretty quickly. You want to be careful. But I get it just so I can see that shine on my paper. You can kind of tell it's wet. I can lay it down on this registration. And if it gets creases, oh well. That's art. We have fun with the experience and the process as we go. I'm going to lift this up and you can see where I got my paper wet that image came out now I have this cool line you could move your paper any which way but you just got to be very careful not to rip the paper and there's another way to make an aluminum foil print now I can clean this off ah, here we go and make as many prints as I want. Now I'm going to show you one more way how to make a print using a plastic sandwich bag. Now I really like this way because you can take this print and create more images on it with this one right here. I can, again, using my markers, you can use highlighters, you can use anything that is a water-based mark to make these designs. I can create an image. Make it a little thicker. On my plastic bag, finding after I flip it over so the wet part is facing down, the right spot to put it, lay it down gently, and just give it another simple back massage. And I can kind of see, once I hold it on here, my image is transferring right on that paper. I can then clean this off and make another one. I'm gonna use a different color here. The plastic and the water-based ink in these markers don't dry out very well. So you don't need any water from a squirt bottle or anything like that to make a print. Now I took my aluminum prints, I'm, I'm adding these on top of it, but you can create an image just with this plastic bag print method. Now the ink, you can kind of see, it spreads in different ways on this plastic. It creates a lovely texture you can explore in your drawings. You can also write words on these prints. I'm gonna show you a simple way to do that with this art project. You're going to need a paper towel or a napkin, something relatively thin. 
Now make sure you have paper underneath so your ink doesn't go onto the table. I'm gonna take a black marker and I'm going to write my word here. Now this is really important. You write your word on this thin paper because once I take this drawing and I put it on there, the words will actually be the opposite way. So if I was just to write art on here and I put it down, it would end up the wrong way. I'm gonna show you once on this. There's my art word. Here, I've got a scrap paper right there. I can take it, flip it, and that word now is backwards. So that's why we write it first on our paper towel and we flip it. So it is already reversed. I can now trace it. I'm gonna use a different marker color. And this will now be the right way. And there you have it. You can create whatever image you want with these methods of printmaking. They're fun to explore the texture and the sort of abstract patterns and colors you can create. Have fun using everyday items just like these.